I, like most women, had in my heart from a young age that I just really desired a successful, a strong, loving a marriage that would really go the distance, you know, meaning I wanted to be, you know, on my deathbed, still married to the same person. And um, when I looked to the world um, for sort of guidelines for that, I really saw that obviously um, that wasn't working. And so as I've always been, a, I've been a Christian since a young age, but um, really didn't seek out the Word and, and listen to the Holy Spirit until I've been older in adulthood. And I just really um, realized that God's way was going to be the way um, for me to be the best wife. And the biggest probably part of that that has helped me mold me into the wife that I should be is not only opening my Bible and seeing what God says in Ephesians and um, different parts of the Bible about being a godly wife, but also seeking out um, a mentor. And I'm so fortunate to be able to be a part of a women's Bible study and to be able to really sit at the foot of someone that not only has a long marriage, but has a loving marriage. and. Um, and really listen and understand and learn and do Bible studies about what God says um, because it's really contrary to what the world would say. And um, I think the biggest part of it for me has been really learning to, um, to die to self and not make everything about me and, and the selfish aspect of, of um, being a part of a marriage or just being human. And um, so I know that God has, has rewarded me um, with a good marriage because I've, I've really tried to learn principles that He says and really tried to put them into place. And my selfish desires definitely rear their ugly heads and I'm not always perfect. But I try really hard and um, I know that um, God has rewarded that. And when I hear things in, in the world um, or I read things or friends or, or good intentioned, loving family members even give me advice that's not godly um, on how to handle myself or how to handle a situation in marriage, um, I'm able to sort of decipher that now, you know, and really hear God saying, okay, that's not, that's not what I would have you do as, as um, the bride for your husband. You know, I know one of the biggest things is really um, trying to live out my life as a wife that is submitted to her husband um, in his leadership, in his um, will for our family, and really trying to um, just emulate what God would have us do.